<laughs> well, Bill Box here with Steven Sorokoff at Feinstein's 54 Below, and we have a huge talent here in the Bog Sorokoff booth. We're talking about David Yazbek. Let me tell you a little bit about David Yazbek's career. He'll be appearing here at Feinstein's 54 Below July 29th and 30th. He is Tony nominated composer lyricist of, get this, ready? One, The Full Monty. Two, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which I loved. That's big. And Women on the Verge. Not just that, he was a, a, a writer for Letterman. You know how good you have to be to be a major writer for a guy like David Letterman? You have to be as good as David Yazbek. Good to be with you. Nice to be with you. Absolutely. Now, David, tell me about what you're going to be doing here at Fine Lines 54 Below. I will be breaking six or seven piano strings. That's my, that's my break goal. Break the piano strings? My goal is to break six or seven. Last time I broke four, I think. Um, Let me see the hands that are doing this. They just look like normal these hands. These are artist's to me. hands, yeah. But the, hands but the adrenaline goes, and yeah. then I'm a wild animal. I'm going to be playing with I, I, I'm going to be playing with my band, which is which is a group of the best musicians I know, horn section, two percussionists, um, and I just love listening to this band play. Cool. So I sit there singing and playing and listening to this band play. That's right. what I'll be doing. But well, so uh, tell us a little bit about the structure of uh, your act. You're, you're, you're not just singing songs. I, I can imagine. I have not seen your act. That it's more an act than just now. I'm singing this. Now I'm singing that. Well, you know, or I am I wrong? No, I, I I didn't realize that until I, the, the New York Times gave me a good review on my last show here. Good. And that's when I realized. Oh, I guess I do have sort of an act because I extemporaneize. Extemporaneize. Well, we, we know what that means. We know what it means. I extemporize. You, you do stuff at the spur of the moment. Yes. Yeah. And. Yeah. And sometimes it's it, it, it becomes a rant or a, or a uh, some kind of a you know a story and uh, so I guess there is an act but really for me it's about the music and it's about uh, playing and improvising with these great musicians and we do songs uh, from my albums songs from uh, shows that I've already written songs from upcoming shows which we'll be doing a few of this uh, right. we're, we're playing July 29th and 30th so there should be a few songs from my show the band's visit which is my next show that's a, the band's visit yeah but just take one quick moment tell us about the what the show is okay. involved what's it's, involved in the show it's about a uh, Egyptian police orchestra who gets lost in Israel 1996 is this uh, true no, no. Okay. I mean, maybe it happened, right. but Who knows? it's not. A, it's a fiction. It's going to happen on the stage. I, yeah, that's right. Um, they they uh, they end up staying overnight in this little town in Israel, and it's basically about two very disparate groups coming together and learning uh, what they have in common with each other. It's about love and music, the two things that I like to write. Excellent. About. Yeah. Excellent. Now, are you essentially doing all of what we say is your own material, David? Uh, usually I do all originals and every now and then I'll usually during rehearsal with the band someone will say let's do this or I'll say let's try this and so there's often a, a cover maybe there's one or two covers at the most right. yeah. one, of, one of my favorite questions over the years to ask you know high-level music artists is when did you first really know that you had the gift to be able to play the piano, to be able to put together notes and compose things. When did it come to you? And second part of the question is, when did you realize you could actually use it uh, as a career? Um, I, I don't think I was aware of anything special because my mother was a pianist and there was there was always a piano and yeah. it just felt sort of natural to be doing, um, to be doing it. Um, I realized that it could be a career when I was about 12 and started playing in rock bands. That's great. And there was money. Like you're 12 years old, you're in a, you know, you, yeah. you're at a party and then there's ten dollars afterwards. Um, that it, helps. That helps. It's not, that, it's not that I wanted to necessarily do it, I just knew that there, that could be an avenue.
you know. Okay, I'm going to end it with David Yazbek is here at Feinstein's 54 Below, July 29th, 30th at 7 p.m. The Full Monty, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels and Women on the Verge among the shows for which he has been nominated for Tony's. One last thing. Yeah. Name two piano players who've most influenced you. Wow, that's a you good go one. go back to age 12. It can be Little Richard. That's okay. I'm going to say... This, this. I, I don't know if anyone in the theater audience is going to know what I'm talking about. I'm going to say Eddie Palmieri. Oh, fast. And fast and dense and beautiful. And uh, Thelonious Monk. Simple and beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. You're nice terrific. To meet you. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You.